Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today I have returned after being away for many, many months. I've been really busy at uni, uh, but now I have found this awesome um, gun plugin. So it's called Quality Armory, and I, I'm sure many of you know Crack Shot, um, which is a good gun plugin, but this is really awesome. As you can see, all of the guns have custom models which download automatically with a custom resource pack. You literally just run the plugin and hop in game, and you will have all of these. And I'll show you how they work and how you can customize them and all the commands and all that good stuff, as we usually do. Uh, so first of all, let's have a look at some of the guns. So some of them have um, iron sights, so if you right click, you can look down the iron sight look like this and uh, shoot animals and whatnot. And you can customize the damage and everything. Uh, some of them don't have iron sights, unfortunately. So uh, left click is fire, usually, so it's a single shot for the AK. Or if we hold down right click, it's fully auto. Uh, then we have the Remington, which is a shotgun. Uh, we have the Henry rifle, uh, which is pretty cool. And the RPG, of course. Where is something I can shoot? There is a uh, an animal there. I, I completely missed, but uh, yeah. There's the MP5K. Really cool weapon. And the Enfield 1853 revolver. Kaboom. There we go. So how does this plugin work? Well, um, what you can do, you can craft ammo, you can craft guns, or you can just use commands to give yourself it. So let me clear my inventory and do forward slash QA. Uh, so there's not too many commands. Let's have a look at the give gun command. So give gun, and you can type whatever you want to M16. That'll give you an M16 with some ammo, and obviously you can uh, then use it, which is pretty cool. Um, you can choose a different gun, such as the... Uh, MP5K, MP5K, and that will give you the MP5, uh, like this. You can also give yourself ammunition if you need more, so you can do 4 slash QA, give ammo, and then obviously the ammo type, so it's 9mm point ACP, and that will give us ammunition. And what we can do is um, shoot some of our magazine, so we have um, maybe half full, and then if we hit F, it will reload, and there we go, we have a full magazine now. Uh, so that's how that works. But if you are playing legitly, you will want to craft your uh, own weapons. So if we look here, we can see all of the different weapons. Uh, so I showed you most of them. There's also a 1911. Uh, there is a Mauser and um, all the others that I showed you for previous. And then we have the different ammunition. So obviously the pistols would use 9mm, the assault rifles 5.56, the rocket for the RPG, and the buckshot for the Remington shotgun. And as you can see, you need um, different ingredients to craft them. So um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Iron ingot, sulfur, redstone, that crafts four of them. And uh, then you just reload using the F key. So I believe that's everything in-game. Uh, there's only a few commands, but um, it's pretty cool that you can uh, give yourself guns, ammunition, all with awesome textures and custom models. Uh, but we are going to have a quick look in the config file to show you how you can edit and change things in there. And here we are in the plugins folder, and if we go into quality armory, you can see that there's a couple of YML files and a new gun folder. So in here, you can create your own gun. Um, uh, it's pretty straightforward. You can set the damage, the sway, the materials, so diamond hoe, the max bullets, durability, all of this good stuff, and uh, what type of gun it is. But uh, we are going to go into the config file where we can change many, many things. So here we have all of the different ammunitions and guns that I showed you in game. Obviously, you can change how you craft them. You can change their damage and durability here, which is really awesome. Um, so as you can see in game, they didn't do too much damage, so I would uh, put this up a bit, especially for the AK. Um, and then up here, this is what I enabled. This was false by default, uh, so it's iron sights when you right click. Uh, and then you have the default resource pack, which uh, looks really awesome. Make sure you keep that enabled. Um, and then we have bullet trails, we have visible bullet counts, true blah blah blah. All of this you can set. And up here you can set unlimited ammunition if you really wanted to, but that would make it a bit OP, honestly. So I um, wouldn't recommend setting that to uh, true. Um, and yeah, so let's go into messages quickly. And in here you can see all of the different messages. Um, I mean, you could translate this or edit it, but there's no real need to. Um, so that is the messages.yml, pretty straightforward. Obviously you can create a new gun by just copying and pasting this into a new YML file. Uh, changing the name and um, changing any of these values that you want and uh, which ammo type it uses. So this one uses 5.56 and is a rifle. So it could be an AUG or um, M416 or whatever. But yeah, that is the plugin. Uh, it's really awesome. 
uh, really cool. It's free to download as well, and um, yeah, I'm back. How long will I be back for? That's a good question, but hopefully I'll see you in the next video.